My research team and I were motivated because there's a racial disparity in endothelial dysfunction and endothelial dysfunction kind of precedes hypertension and hypertension is devastating as most people know in the African-American community. Now, most studies that uh, research health disparities, whether it's hypertension or cardiovascular disease, Almost all of that research is done at the clinical level or at the physiological level, so kind of the big level, and it hardly ever goes down to the cell. And so our research is unique because we have cell lines from African Americans and from Caucasians, and we study those to see if we can uncover some of those causes. The purpose really was to determine if cells from African Americans and cells from Caucasians and these are the endothelial cells that line our blood vessels to see if they respond differently to an inflammation stimulus and the inflammation stimulus we used was TNF-alpha. The main findings of the study were that when we stimulated the cells from both groups with TNF-alpha um, the African-American cells had an 89% increase in endothelial microparticles, which indicates damage. The Caucasian endothelial cells only had an 8% increase, so very, very small. So that kind of showed us that there was a much bigger uh, response in the African-American cells. We also found that when we incubated the cells with the defense against oxidative stress, the African-American cells had a much bigger response, and so they had much less endothelial microparticles generated then compared to the Caucasian cells. It appears that in this preliminary study that the African-American endothelial cells are more susceptible to the damaging effects of inflammation, in, in our case, TNF-alpha. It also appears that um, Part of the problem is in how TNF-alpha causes more oxidative stress, so the African-American cells also are more susceptible to oxidative stress by TNF-alpha. So the take-home message is, is that even in our human study, where we have prehypertensive African-Americans, we find um, systemic inflammation that's high, and we find endothelial impairment. So this is a place where we have, we can intervene before they have hypertension. Could be lifestyle modification, diet and exercise to make their blood vessels better and improve their vascular health so they don't go on to have hypertension so soon.